Okay, so this is what I made. It's a resonance damper for a stepper motor. Um, I didn't really have any sizes. I saw a couple of videos on um, on the internet about it. So I basically made a bit of plastic, measured it so it was roughly a little bit smaller than the outside diameter of the motor. Um, I wanted to have some slots in it so that when the power's down, I could turn it around. Um, I did a little recess for my plate to sit in. Um, I've seen some other ones where they stick the stuff on the end and I just thought this would look a bit tidier when it's all bolted up. The holes are 16mm, uh, just because I had a 16mm slot drill. Basically I did a bolt hole circle to do those and I did the, a wider bolt hole circle to do the finger slots on the outside. Um, M4 tapped holes uh, just in the middle of the spacers. The hole in the middle is 14mm which matches up with my um, NEMA 34s and that sits on nicely. Um, and then I drilled an M6 hole, uh, M, a 5mm hole, put an M6 tap down it just for a grub screw to locate. The weights I put in it, they're basically a little bit of play that way. Um, I didn't really think of any size. They're uh, 14 and a half mil, so they fit in loosely in the 16 mil and drop in. I put a bit of a radius on them just to make them look nice and so they don't actually damage anything when they're moving around or get stuck. Then I made a bit of a plate, countersunk. Um, this was turned, but uh, you could easily do it just with a bit of sheet steel. Um, so it can all be done on the mill. Um, you can do it by clamping, um, just interpolating and, and drilling. Uh, this could be out of a piece of flat, flat plate, pop it on, sits nice, and just drop the screws in. And uh, there you go. Um, I may well make some of these and sell them if people want them. I don't know. Um, they seem to work. They're a resonance damper. When you've got uh, a stepper motor, there's quite a bit of build up of energy left to right on each uh, 1.8 degree step. So you get a sort of a resonance built up at certain speeds. What happens with these? is as that resonance is built up um, it, it it jiggles around and that sort of dampens it off so as it's leaning forward and jumps forward one of these moves the opposite way and stops that resonance and the effect is pretty much amazing really um, I think resonance dampers for step mode has been around for from from day one really um, but obviously in the DIY, we're buying these things from China and they don't come equipped with that. If you get one of these ones, this is a longs motor. If you get one with the, the shaft on the end, you can put stuff on. Put in the, um, oops, put in the bits on the end. Let me power this down. Um, just allows you that little bit of movement. Don't go twisting your stepper motors too much because you're going to um, produce energy here which is going to go back into your circuit boards. If you look, when I twist this around a bit, you might not be able to see the lights coming on but you can hear it. That's producing a current, sending it back to the, the control system. You don't really want that because it's possibly going to damage something. But it's quite useful if you just want to move things gently along just to get yourself into place but uh, yeah these are pretty easy to fit pretty easy to make i think we can all make them um and they pretty well work amazing thanks for listening catch you later what i found was the uh the the initial design when it ran at fast speed where you got the resonance was brilliant when i got to the low speed uh, it was a bit noisy, so I took them off and found out that 
it wasn't noisy at all. So it must be that the slight vibrations that are standard in the stepper motor are causing the uh, metal bits inside the little brass rods to rattle and it sounded awful. So I've come up with another idea now. It's not ideal because I didn't design it for it. But what I'm going to do is seal the top end with some blue Hylomar and pop a little bit of oil in the gaps. Now there should be a bit of a gap because we've got a 16mm hole with a 14.5mm pin just dropped inside. You've got a little bit of space top and bottom. Um, like I say, if I was going to do this properly, I would have made two o-ring grooves in it and made the gap a little bit wider from there to there so I could get another o-ring groove in there an o-ring groove in there and uh, that would have kept the oil in between I'm hoping that this Hylomar does the job but uh, this is all just first time at it so you never know so that's I'm trying to get it the nice and evenly spread all over I'm trying to get it in the corners here because there's very little gap between the edge of that hole and that circumference there so it's not going to get a lot, lot of sealant in there um, so I'm going to try and get as much as I can in there um, and then basically I tried it on the first one I popped a little bit of oil in before and it overflowed when I drop the pin in. So this time I'm going to try and just drop a little bit of oil on each pin and get it just right. This Hylomar stuff dries off fairly quickly and gives an outer coating. Um, but like I say, it, 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 this is not an ideal solution. Um, but you know, this is what we're doing. We're trying to get stuff on the cheap, DIY. Let's have a go at it. So I'll get this topped off, get the uh, little plate put back on, uh, pop it back on the machine and let's see if it is quiet. Right, so we've now got two oil filled dampers, no rattle. I haven't tried these yet, so um, anyone's guess what's going to happen. They don't look like they're going to leak. Um, the, the metal plate, the, the brass plate that I made to fit over the face is pretty, pretty good. That's what I was saying on the last video about how that comes in handy. So we've got the other one on as well. So if I get off this, and then back three. Power it right up. There we go. goes that's on full speed so we're still doing full speed the rattling is because uh, this is all a bit loose and ready because I haven't bolted everything down tight so I'm going to get run, running nice the problem I've got was around about 20 between 25% and 5% so we'll drop it back down see what that sounds like that's not bad See, I can avoid a certain certain speeds just by programming, um, but it'd be nice to be able to get every speed. That sounds nice. Around about five percent. I was getting serious rattling. Still a bit there, but nowhere near as bad. When I took the dampers off, it wasn't, it wasn't there really at all. It 
see, this is the sort of speed of my machine now. That's not too bad. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. There's a lot noise in there. There's not much vibration on the machine itself. Much like I say, most of the vibration was coming from the dampers themselves. And I've got the oil in. Half of that. Oil filled dampers success.